Um, all right, Chelsea. Chelsea, we are rough handled. I don't know if you if you actually watched that game. Chelsea, we are rough handled. See, I've been watching the Premier League eh, for the past. I don't know. I don't. I can't remember since my secondary school days. I've been watching the Premier League. I have not seen a small team, you know, get that physical. But Bournemouth is not really small per se. They are a small it's team. It's mad. They are, they are a small yeah, compared team. Compared to Chelsea, they are small team, but not small, small. <laughs> so, <laughs> they are so, small. See, I've small. never seen a team that physical. It was like it was like we were watching, we were watching, you know, there's this, there's this Manchester United Chelsea game you watch in the past, not now, where there's so much physicality, Drogba, Vidic, everybody just know. That was what, that was why that game had that 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 amount of um, yellow cards. Of course, some of the yellow cards were due to complaints from you know the players shouting at the referee, complaining to the referee. But that game was so physical. Pama was <laughs> Pama was out of the game because they 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 kept hitting and hitting everybody. He couldn't function in that game like we expected him to. Players like um, I think Jackson at some point too was not was nowhere to be found. So, but it's it's good that they they you know their bench came in and then changed that game for them. Um, that's where, of course, I, all of the signings now, you know, paid actually off. paid off. All of those many signings, Joe Felix, Nkuku, um, they all came in and then changed the game for Chelsea. And um, let's 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 actually talk. We we'll talk about, because we're going to see we're going to see teams. Teams are going to be watching Chelsea right now. See if this team can actually succumb yeah. to so much physicality like that. Let's not Maybe. take away the fact that Chelsea missed goes to they missed some goals too. Mm -hmm. But this uh, was it, was it called? Um, was well, because Bonamot also missed a lot of chances too in that game. They they should have scored at least two or three in that game if they were very clinical. But teams will be looking at Chelsea and saying, if this team can succumb to so much physicality, uh, you know, like this, we think we, we, we might have their way. It, yeah. Might have their way. I, so much inexperience. Oh, Madweke. I feel I feel I feel I feel bad that Madweke is. I, I feel like he's. Someone a fan said it that Madweke is allowing the praises. Get into his head, yes, he's, he, yes, he's make, letting the praise get to his head. You know, he scored a hat trick. You know, got get, get caught up for by England, and you know all of those things in your head. And keep, he should, I feel, that he should just keep his head and, and just play football because he's not even started yet. He has not started yet. That's not even. No, that's started. one thing about um, these players. That was like a one time thing. That's like his first career hat trick. Yeah, of course. And then it was so good for Chelsea that even get Chelsea this kind of boost and winning six zero and all that. Yeah, it was. Good, it was spectacular. Put his name on the map, but come on, guy, come that you just play. You, you just started. Personally, I'm, I'm not. It's not because I'm not a Chelsea fan. Madike is not exceptional. He's not an exceptional striker. He's just good, and he was lucky that day. So, um, Chelsea team all together. Chelsea is good, and their signings are good. But I don't know where what what is the problem. You know, initially they, they blamed that this guy Maresta. Um, I mean, they are Pochettino. Uh, Pochettino. They blame Pochettino. Right now, what's the problem? I think I think the problem is still the same problem we were facing. They, play, they faced during the earlier stages of um, Pochettino. Uh, new squad, new players, uh, you know, new coach, new system, trying to learn a new system. Well, and, and then Pochettino got it right towards the ending part of the point, season. Yeah. Towards the end part of the season, I think it took it took uh, Manchester City to knock him out of the FA Cup. He would have he would have he would have, um, he would, he would have at least played the, the final with Chelsea, maybe, maybe. But um, sorry, with um, with Manchester United, maybe. But uh, you know, we saw them play better. Towards the ending part of the season, that that's why they qualified yeah. for the Europa League. That you know, uh, you know, with Maresca, I don't think the play is different. I think the style is is similar. They've not played anything different from what I used to see. I've said that to many Chelsea fans. Yeah. It's still the same style of play with Maresca. Uh, you know, but I think number one, we talked, we've talked, we've talked many times about the immaturity of that team. I think they are very immature players in that team. That's no, no, but the main players, problem. players who are trying to overdo. Because they want to prove themselves, they're trying to overdo. To, they want to. They want to impress the coach. Players like Madweke, trying to you know overdo, trying to you know show that he can, he can, he wants to be, he wants to be that man. And so I feel, much. I feel major, major of the problem is coming from comes from Madweke because they always trust him to want to lead the attack. They always trust him, and he finds he a way to just to fluff his line, fluff his line. And I think it's just immaturity with the Chelsea team. Casado is one of the bright lights in that team. Casado was. I don't know if they gave. I don't even know if they gave the man of the match. I think he was the man of the match for that game for me. He was very impressive from left, from right back to helping the defense to attack. He was so so good. He's showing why he has um, why they paid that um, why they paid why they had that um, price tag why, why Chelsea paid that money for him. So I think um, Chelsea will, it will continue. It will continue. But they are not guaranteed if they're going to win the next game or if they're going to get a triple. It's going to continue. That is mature. We're going to keep seeing With that maturity. That they're doing. 
I don't think the Chelsea that held Man City Last to season. draw or even almost Man City almost losing and all that. Nothing they with this thing that nothing they can do this season. I, I don't know. You know when you look at this Chelsea play, you 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 begin to wonder if they if they if they, if, if, if they meet the big boys. If they meet the big boys, Liverpool. Let's not talk about Manchester because Manchester United, I think they are all of the all of you all you guys are in the same bracket right now. Wow, really? You guys are in the same bracket right now. So <laughs> but when they play when they play Liverpool, of course you're not going to second guess who's going to win that match. When they play Manchester, you're not going to go second guess. When they play Arsenal, you're not going to second guess. But for Manchester United, of course, you're going to still you know, look at maybe, maybe, maybe not, maybe not. But on today, Osha, but I think I think uh, I think uh, the coach has a lot to say to these boys in terms of how they handle themselves so they get where they get on the pitch. And the big one. That happened on Sunday. The big one that happened on Sunday. Yeah, Arsenal Tottenham, the North London Derby, um, yeah. Tottenham Arsenal. That game was one of the most talked about derby because I said it because of what happened, because of the injury crisis to Arsenal, and then people were saying it's over, like it's over. I, I was looking at how Ateta would set up that team. I was thinking if you... Now, I'm going to say this, and of course, many Arsenal fans do not, do not like these things when I say it about Ateta. I feel like Ateta didn't learn a lot of... He didn't learn much on, with Gaunda Gadola. I, I just think he just picked out some certain basics. If this was... If this was a Manchester City, you would see... I'm sure... I'm sure we'll be looking at one area, one area in this game, in that game. I felt like I thought I should you know. I, I, there, was, there, was, there was a lot on my head on how this guy would have set up this. I'm not the coach of Arsenal, but I'm looking at how this guy would have set up this team on uh, and then you no know, catch these guys by surprise. Don't no, catch them by surprise. But it was just the basic Pate, Joginho, Havert in the midfield, which I felt like Havert was kind of impressive. It was kind of impressive He's always helping both body midfield and um, the yeah, attack yeah. in that game. So it was kind of impressive. I, I I like his strength. He doesn't look like he has strength, but Havert can run two hours on that pitch and not get tired. That's Harvard for you. So, um, but big one for Arsenal. I think um, Ateta has learned, uh, learned from his past mistakes. Uh, def Arsenal defended very deep. Like, very, very deep. We were saying, if you, if you, if you, if that, if that TV was in black and white, you would think you were playing, you would think, you would think Mourinho, you would think it was a Mourinho side playing that game. Defensive so deep because they knew that um, these guys, they have players, very quick players yeah. who can hold them. So, everybody has to be involved. Defend to the counter. There are many times they would have scored. There are many times they would have scored. Raya was impressive in that game. For me, Raya was very impressive. Raya would have been man of the match. Gabriel, it was because of the goal. Gabriel got the man of the yeah. match. He was in Gabriel too was impressive. I think he's one of the most underrated. Uh, when you talk about Arsenal's defense, nobody mentions Gabriel. We all talk, keep talking about Saliba, Saliba. But I think Gabriel is underrated. Maybe because of how shaky he is sometimes. That's talking about Gabriel. But I think Gabriel was very impressive. Is, is more, is, uh, one of those you, you, you call a once in a blue moon. Mm. He's not always shining. Yeah, but sometimes when he does, yeah, yeah. He, he shines very well. And Timba, Timba too, impressive from that left back position. That's why I keep telling Manchester United, you keep making excuses for for uh, Martinez on why he shouldn't play. He played left back against Liverpool and then he was, he was, he was completely well, Martinez off. Martinez was um, wonderful against Sanchez. Not at the left back. I'm talking about left back position. I'm talking about play players playing out of position. Timba is a right footer player. Played left back. Yeah. I was impressive, impressive. That was the Manchester United make that. You know, with the, 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 when Martinez played that, uh, played that uh, position, played in uh, the left back position. He's a left footer. Played left back position. We saw what, what uh, <laughs> this this master man, master player was his name uh, Rico Rico this Rico Rico guy did did to him in that game. So Timba was impressive. Timba was impressive. Um, in that um, in that game too. Um. Uh, of course, right, and White had a few day with Son. Son actually gave him a tough time in that game, and of course he held his he held his own. Uh, whatever 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 Son brought to him, he was he was up to he was up to he was up to it. Party was impressive. Party is slow, but Party was impressive. Yeah, was able to, was able to go. To, oh, I was worried seeing um, Jogginho and Party in the midfield. I was like, and Harvard, these players, you they, these players combine their speed together. <laughs> they won't they won't take they won't take uh, what's his name i'm sure i'm sure i'm sure uh, what's his name which player with that corner that is that is maybe not too fast but fast so but but it was it was impressive for Arsenal the way they played that game the way they handled themselves in that game and um three points for them on the road Ateta became the first manager first Arsenal manager to win to beat sports three times and um, three you know to win sports um you know in three away games it was kind of is it three away games now three games i think it was three okay three away games it was it was kind of impressive Say it had fought mm. one zero 
Yes, well, you call it a hard for it's a derby win is a win, with yeah. the injury, with the injuries, and then the the suspension of Declan Rice. It was nobody gave Arsenal a chance in that game. Every Arsenal fan was talking about, okay, let's just get a draw and go. I said it here, you know. Last I said they would not lose to Tottenham. I knew Arsenal would lose to Tottenham. No, I, I knew they wouldn't. Tottenham lose is so forgive my Tottenham language. It's a shitty team. Tottenham is, is a very shitty, shitty team. Look at what they did with Newcastle. Even their one goal was an own goal. The goal that was at, uh, uh, awarded to Tottenham was an own goal. I said, Malik, Tottenham is not going to win this. Yeah, they they, I know they are very overrated team. So, but kudos to Arsenal with the way they at the at the same. Many people are saying they are the only ones that can with the way Liverpool, with the way Liverpool lost. Many people are coming out to say they are the only team that can. Challenge this Man City side. Man City are flawless. Four wins from four games. Twelve points. Arsenal is second on them to ten points. Followed by Liverpool. Nine points. And then Aston Villa. It's just as the table like the table ended last season. <laughs> That's it's what we see. That's what we see. Um, of course. So uh, well, we've talked about the Premier League. Let's hear your thoughts on um, the, the Premier League. Um, which see which um, particular game was um, you know was which particular game which particular match impressed you? Uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts on that one too. And um, other. Other stuff that you noticed um, in the league that uh, with, the, with the Premier League team, with games that happen, and um, I don't know if there's anything you want to point out in the Premier League before we move forward. We want to, want to, want to touch, want to touch yeah, a little bit. Um, you know, I was thinking about um, Nathan Forrest. How earlier would I, um, I was discussing with one of my colleagues, like, I don't let Nathan Forrest, uh, Nathan Forrest might go back to relegation, but the way they're proving they're not, these new guys might go back. The only one amongst them that is likely to stay back is Leicester. And Leicester, I, I was really disappointed. Oh, what happened? That was on Friday. They were leading 2 0. How no. did you go from 2 0 to lose to 3 2? And then Everton is like they are on a course. <laughs> Everton will start, they will score first. They will score another one first. Everton was leading, I think that was around 70 or 80 something minutes, to lose 3 2 from winning 2 0. That was something they did uh, their last game. The last game, last, game too, yes. Now they did it again. Everton is already last on the table. I think um they were they're just above um either Southampton or yeah just above Southampton. But with Southampton is even better than them with what they are playing and all that. All right, all right. Um, I, I would just we just hope uh, maybe we'll start we we'll start with, I think we'll start discovering teams that would go relegation during the maybe January the January be, yeah. time. So we'll see that. Let's let's talk about Barcelona. Like I said earlier on, I I, I owe Barcelona an apology with the way. I criticize. I have to, I, not criticize. I talked about how I think they will struggle this season. Hansi Flick, Hansi Flick, is a good coach. He is a good coach. I'm saying he's putting out. There. Of course, we, we we saw what he did with Bayern Munich, but I'm saying that he's a good coach. You know how it is to come to a new club with very young players, and, and then, then doing that. you are you you <laughs> he has he has stamped his his um, his, his blueprint on that team and see the way they play with so much courage. Yamal is. Outstanding. I'm sure everybody. I'm sure the players that were nom nominated for that um, Golden Boy Award. I'm sure they are saying, "Okay, let's just let's yeah, just let's really just forget about it." There's no he chance right the now. Boy, he of course, he was going to win it. He was going to win it. Yeah. But now with this performance, that I, I was I had my eyes on that game. I was watching um, the, the the Arsenal game, and I, I had yeah. my eyes on that game. It was Yamao is an impressive young man for his age. That guy is he doing so much. It's it's what we, 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 these players that have done you know something like that is uh, maybe not too impressive because if not they didn't do it at a very very high level. Uh, you talk about you talk about you talk about uh, you talk about um, uh, Rooney who started very young too. Rooney started you no know, impre impressing them um, um, you know at sixteen for Everton was already scoring bangers at sixteen. Um, Fabregas these guys were impressive but they were not as regular as Yamal. Yamal has back played back. and won the Euros at sixteen. At sixteen. So maybe that's the magic. Must remember that's the magic one for 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 Hansi Flick. But I think he has done so well with his with his Barcelona side, and I think Madrid they're will like, struggle. Really Madrid is going to struggle to play this guy. We're looking at their classical and thinking, okay, uh, maybe they are going to Madrid is going. But I don't think Madrid would beat these guys. Madrid no. is going to struggle. Look, look, Madrid has been struggling to They win. call them penalty kings now. They, are, they call yeah. them penalty. They are, they are, They've they won all of their games. How many of their games? Just penalties, penalties, penalties. penalties. So I, I think they were going to struggle. So big ups to Barcelona fans. Are the big ups to Barcelona? Hansi Flick is doing a very good job there, and um, it's safe to say that if they don't win the league, maybe maybe it's because it might be because of injuries. If they don't win the league, oh, Dani Omo yeah. is injured right now. Three weeks, I think three weeks. Since we're, we're talking about um, La Liga already, Madrid, um, this guy uh, uh, Ancelotti, right, has 
all the star boys that's all the that's the problem with having that's the problem with having too many starters that's the problem with having too many starters see you have mbappe see, you have vinicius junior you have bellingham you have uh, there are plenty vinicius you can you, we all know vinicius Vinicius Junior cannot you know go to the bench and madrid do not have that out and out striker mbappe is not an out and out striker so i feel like i feel like he you should have to bellingham either hmm? You can't, you can't, you can't, to Bellingham. you can't, you Bellingham. These are players that should be starting that cannot be bench players for any team. So I, I feel, I feel very, I feel very, I feel very, you know, sorry for Ancelotti right now because I'm sure he's thinking in his head, can I just take that risk and just bench somebody? But that's, I, the, that's the solution. Because there was, one if, person has to drop. Why? I think that, personally, I think it's damage control. You know, I said it last week. Um, I think last week he came out and said, hey, he's happy that Vinicius allowed uh, Mbappe to play the penalty. And their relationship is good, dude. You don't have to tell us that we we'll see that their relationship is not good. I watched that, but that particular match you're talking about, I actually watched it. Vinicius was so selfish. He wants to win the Ballon d'Or. Exactly. Vinicius exactly. is like the top Mbappe, favorite for the Ballon d'Or. Wants to win the Ballon d'Or too. Bellingham also wants to win. And uh, come on, so who's going to give the other? Space? I and think Be- Bellingham is out of the question now because of his injury. Is out of the question. But Vinicius Junior is the like top. I think Vinicius Rodri, uh, Rodri from Man City, is yeah. one of the top top the other top players for the Ballon d'Or. Vinicius wants to win the Ballon d'Or for Christ's sake, and then you're buying Mbappe, who well, wants we, to win the Ballon d'Or well, too. Exactly. I wonder how this team because now <laughs> it's like when Benzema Ronaldo was there. Benzema, of course, is a fantastic player, but when he saw that Ronaldo he is the key player, he had to just step back and just help out. That's what then Benzema did. Right now, Vinicius is saying, "See, I can be a star player, both for Brazil and uh, and Real Madrid. I don't want to come now for anybody, and that is the problem. I Mbappe think they keep having their problems." I think they'll keep having their problems. I don't know how they decide to how they want to do it. This season is not unless good time unless time. Mbappe can play from the right side, unless Rodrigo goes to the bench, which I think that, which which, that which I think is going to be a disservice to him too. Yeah. Which I, so I don't know what I don't know, but I don't know what the coach. I don't he'll, know what you figure it out. But I don't know. This season is not really looking. I, I don't know. I think Baka will run away with this one. With the way it's, with the way it's looking, Baka is going to run away with this one. The way they played, you know, Girona this 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 game. Huh? You just know that these Barcelona are not they are not in for games they're not they're not they're not joking this season so yes that's that for Barcelona. so let's switch over to like yeah. young premier league yeah. 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 We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, nothing spe- nothing special happening this year so we just talk about except for our guy that's what we, as we, we, we as we go into you know the Nigerian players we don't talk about um, um lukman who who was impressive too a goal and an assist for him Boniface, in his first game Boniface two. Two.